Hi guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to the Dyslexic Reader. Today I'm going to be telling you about the books that I read in the month of August. And I actually don't have any books to show you because I read exclusively ebooks this month. So no physical copies to show you, but I'll put the covers up. I also don't have a lot to say. I read five books and they're all longish. They're all 500 pages-ish but four of the five were in a series and I don't want to talk too much of them because spoilers so they were the final four books in the Heroes of Olympus series so there was a summon Neptune the Mark of Athena the House of Hades and it's the Blood of Olympus is the final one so I read the first one last month as part of well July it's now September as part of the reading rush and then I continued on and just read the next four books in the series and I really thoroughly loved the majority of them I think maybe the second or the third was my favorite I wasn't 100% sold on the ending I thought that was a wee bit lackluster but I think that's more on me than the book and the kind of things that I like to read it just didn't really like hold up to my standard and just like what I would have liked to have seen happen to the characters didn't happen but that's not to say that it wasn't good or well done it's just not what I had envisioned for the characters and I really specifically loved Nico in this series I loved him in the Percy Jackson series he was one of my favorite characters who I was always excited to see when he would come back into the story and the focus on him and his development I think was really good and I really liked the diversity in this series as well between like um uh like ethnic and um different levels of body ablement and um sexuality there was a whole load of things so it was uh very interesting as a series and I thoroughly enjoyed it um I think I gave them they were all about the four star mark some are higher and lower when I bring them out to a figure but they all kind of ranged in the four star and then I read The Doors of Eden which is Adrian Tchaikovsky's new book yeah I read two of his books before and one of them loved it and one of them was just okay and this one again was unfortunately just okay for me it ended up being a three star if you really like his work I would suggest checking it out for me it was a bit all over the place so it was about a girl uh, without trying to give too much away two girls and um they're very into monster hunting bigfoot and loch ness monster and all these things and they go on a trip and one of them disappears and the other one never like she just disappears and then several years later she comes back and she's like tied up in this whole thing that the government's in and there's murderers and they're all after these people and they don't know where they went and it's a lot of like parallel world stuff so it was an interesting concept to me there was too much jumping there was a lot of POVs and it just went back and forth very quickly and it didn't explain who the person was so you'd be reading about person A and then it'd be like person B was in a coffee shop and then he noticed like but who is person B like there was no like build up and um, eventually the stories did come together but for me it was too late like I was like confused by all the separate stories and they didn't come like I know you want to leave it to the end but you need some sort of crossover I think um and there was a couple of I really again a very diverse book there was um the main the two girls I was talking about at the start of the book were lesbians there was um a trans woman in the book but I felt a, I can't speak for the trans community not being a part of it but to me some of the language just missed the mark there was nothing really negative or bad said but to me the words could have been chosen a bit better so there was times when they referred to her before transition in the past tense as a he I'm not sure how that sits and there was also one line and it was like being a woman suits her better or something and and it kind of sat weird with me as well so I can't speak for the trans community but for me it seemed a bit off because the character was not negative in any way and I think uh, the intention behind it was very good and it was a good attempt but to me there were still some words that were off there was also some things that were just incorrect in the book that just pulled me out of the story so they'd be like so we were looking for videos on youtube and it's really hard to find videos on youtube because you have to sift through so much porn to get there and i'm like let's just not 
true like why would you even put that in there it's just unfactual it's just not true and they things like that really pull me out of a story so for me it wasn't a great hit i did get this on netgalley for review and i was completely honest the it was out i think on the 20th of august so it wasn't it wasn't um out too long ago but if you're okay with all the downfalls that i have mentioned and you like Adrian Tchaikovsky's work it's very him in, in in other regards so that was a three star for me and the Heroes of Olympus series were all kind of four stars so I only read five books um which left me feeling a bit ugh when I looked back at it but they were all longish but all the Heroes of Olympus were over 500 um and yeah the doors is it the doors to Eden or the doors of Eden I'll have to check that but the picture will be up for you guys and it was like over 600 and I also read the majority of two other books that were like 500 pages but I just didn't get to finish them in time so they'll be finished in the next couple of days. So pages wise it wasn't too bad I just don't have a lot to say in my wrap up. So that's us all for today I hope you're all happy I hope you're all healthy stay safe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.